Well, late as usual, it uh, it can be helped, but it's what it is. Yes, this is the Angry Man Fantasy Bear Reviewer, although I only review in a zero, even though that is also still going very slow. In the last chapter, Siggy went new overdrive and pierced through Void, but we actually forgot, or more, or more likely, I forgot that he possessed Cat Leaper. So by leaping a little back, he manages to prevent Siggy from dealing that mortal blow proclaiming that as long as I have Cat Leaper, I will never be defeated. But Siggy is firm, saying he, saying Void do not know everything, because he's a robot and having a kid is beyond his capabilities. But if there's anything uh, that can be passed on father to son, it's a lesson I'm going to have to teach you about the meaning of power. And why, why do I have a feeling he's not going to be able to defeat it? Either way, this chapter, though, is entirely dedicated to Jin and and uh, dead and cure and in case you're wondering yeah cure gets defeated this chapter once again a little anticlimactic but hey it is what it is yes i admit i would have preferred a little bit more build but it was clear that hiromashima was under an enormous amount of stress to finish all this it's a shame that it had to become like this but hey you suck it up and accept it that's what we do Either way, this cure gives his reasons for everything else. It turns out that just like him before, he used to be a warrior's light. And in this universe, he actually did create Crow. You know, Dead End Crow that was going to create the the destruction of the fa festival. And then, uh, he, and then he created that um, disaster on that planet ten years ago. Attacked the festival. And then Cure was going to rescue everything in light. But the one who saved them, including Holy and her little sister, as shown in this uh, brief flashback, was the United uh, Army of the Interstellar Army. But it was that that Cure got a little moment, realized that he should never have become a warrior of light, creating darkness and then becoming light. He called himself the balance between good and evil in the old universe. But in this one, he realized that that was bull, so he decided. He will be evil, and he liked it that way. Yes, a lot of people may say that's, ugh, that's so bad motivations. But if you have to realize, the cure in the old universe also had pretty messed up moments. He created false ones because he believed in a twisted idea of good versus evil. But truthfully, he will always were evil. This cure was such a sore loser of the fact that he didn't become light. He decided to become the darkness, and he liked it that way. So, but Jin, of course, do not sympathize with him, because he was always trash. He proclaims that they have seen previous villains they have dealt with in the old universes, and while he wouldn't really say that they are far from good people, at least they have more humanity in them, or maybe it's better to say that they have changed and they can understand. But Jin and the others will never understand Cure, because Cure is beyond redemption. So, eh, so they begin to fight. Fight. As they briefly clash between everything else, Cure seems to have the upper hand, but also um, revealing that because of his regenerative power, he can actually never truly die. As he restrains Jin, Jin gives a call back to Senelith's lessons, manages to detach his robotic limbs and punch uh, out Cure, and freeing himself with his Skymic Ninjutsu. He hits him with a windstorm slash, but that is still not enough to kill Cure, because as long as he regenerates, he's immortal. But then Jin proclaims that uh, Dead and Crow had a cure too, and he was technically Cure himself, meaning that he should also have been immortal in that case. So that means that for an android such as Cure and Crow to function, they have to have a cure. And as no, sorry, core. And as long as that core is not destroyed, they cannot be destroyed. So, um, and while he, but, uh, uh, and he doesn't care how powerful he is. If there is some mechanics of his power works, he has to find it. And he proclaims that it's very likely that that core, that core is in the same place as Crow. And if you think about it, that's very fitting, because Cure built Crow. Not in his own image, but out of his own image, meaning that he based him on himself. So, yeah, it's very likely. 
that uh, the reason why the his Kiro's crow's weakness was because it was exactly the same spot where Kyo was. So Jin hits him with one powerful attack, scare windstorm dra Draco lands, and actually managed to pierce through Cure completely, saying, Cure, huh? Guess you should have started by curing your delusions, ending the fight. And yes, I know what you say, as I said before. One shot, one chapter to them. Nah, it's a bit boring. But hey, as long as Valkyrie gets taken out in one chapter, then I'm good. And why do I want to be her to be taken out in one chapter? Well, she was arrogant. And arrogant people needs to be killed in one chapter. So yeah, this was basically a cure in this universe. Someone who has realized how evil he really was. And once Valkyrie is done, then everything is done. The bigger question though, well after that will be... Will that really be over? I mean, after that it's only Void and the Chronophage done. And, Chron and technically Void should be more powerful than all the other people combined. But I wonder. Give me your thoughts if you have any.